What's up everybody? So last week I posted a video of my humongous wing for my STI and I did a little Subaru giveaway for your pets. So today I'm going to be revealing who is the winner of the uh, giveaway. Also, um, I don't know if you guys watched my videos but I did some axles for my Subaru Crosstrek and today I'm replacing them again. So the two I replaced the two front axles and driving it afterwards at 20 miles per hour it was shaking and then it went away so I had to put the old ones back in and then there was no shaking then I put one and it was shaking I was trying to figure it out which one was shaking and at the end ended up being both of them were shaking so right now I still have my old axles and over here this is the old axle and that's well actually this is the defective axles is that one and that one over there and then this one is a new one that i got a different brand from a different company um and i'm going to try that only on my uh, driver's side so to make this little video a little bit fun because you guys already seen how i i've done this before in my previous video uh I'm going to do like a little test to see how fast I can change my axle. The reason why I want to do a little test is because I've changed my axle so much last time that I just know exactly what to do and maybe hopefully I don't run into any problems of trying to take it out. But um, yeah, I'm going to do put the timer on the clock and uh, go as fast as I can to kind of cheat my way in i already took the wheel off and basically i already have my tools that i need uh right here and i'm missing one over here. uh so i have the tools kind of ready to um get the axles out so i'm gonna set up the camera set up the timer and then we start from there All right I'm going to start the time and we'll start it right now. Here you go, 15 minutes and 40 seconds around there. Um, everything is pretty much installed. All the bolts are to spec. All I need is to uh, um, do this little notch right here. But all the other bolts are um, tightened up uh, to the correct foot pounds and all that stuff. Everything is put on. So I am sweating. It is a little, it's not hot here in Northern Virginia, but it's a little muggy. Um, so I'm going to put the wheel on, do a little test drive just to make sure. And then um, I'm bring my STI back into the garage because that's where it goes. And I'm going to show you a little thing that I've done and uh, with my wing. Oh, I hope everything is good. 
I just fixed my uh, one of my headlights. Uh, I got LED headlights also on my Crosstrek, and apparently one of the uh, fuse for the one side of the headlight was blown. And I thought I put a new LED headlight, which um, apparently that one didn't work, and this one is blinking too. Wow! It's like all my lights are like breaking or something. Um, let's hope that with this axle, I don't get no um. No shaking. Um, like my previous vehicle, uh, my previous video, it's um, it had really bad um, like clicking. Oops, let me put my. I don't want that to be listening to the little beeping sound. Oh my god! Oh my god! Anyways, usually it was shaking at 20 miles per hour and I've already passed 20 miles usually when I accelerate it at 20 miles an hour you can feel that it was like a bad bad shake so far I've gone to 20 miles an hour and I have no shaking let's keep trying it out Good, good, good. I like this. Um, all right, let me uh, break it in a little bit. Turn around here. Accelerate, accelerate. Oh my god. Definitely, my I need a. I definitely, definitely. I'm going to need a alignment ASAP. Um, last time I did alignment, I tried to by eye, try to camber um, my uh, my wheel to like negative, you know, like kind of like push the top in. Um, but now my steering wheel is kind of facing to the left, like really bad. So. So so far so good with this one. Oh, uh, this axle, I'm gonna turn, and hopefully it's gonna be no click, well, it might be clicking on one side only, because it's really bad on, uh, but I just changed the one that was really, really bad. But let's see, look, I'm going, uh, well, I can't, I'm not going straight now, but. Definitely shaking, less clicking, so that is really, really good. I thought my axle was gonna was just gonna pop out of place, and man, this steering wheel is really bad. Let me try to show you what I was talking about. So that's kind of straight right there. And it's kind of facing to the left really bad but anyways everything's good so far so um that's it for now for the cross trick and let me get the um sti back in and show you what i did to the spoiler Oh no! So as you guys know, 
um, people that have big wings, they usually put something uh, nice little lettering underneath the uh, the wing. So um, yeah, uh, I try to be as original as possible, but I still found someone out there with what I put on my wing, which kind of sucks because. I mean, I'm pretty sure there's going to be a lot more people out there with the same message uh, with, uh, you know, that I have. Um, but, um, here it is. So that's my message for you guys. Um, everybody that's going to be behind me, you're going to see that message. I am pretty sure, I am pretty sure that my neighbors out here won't like the little message some people out there might not like the little message uh, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be a cop magnet as soon as they see that um, I go autocrossing this weekend next weekend or this weekend I go autocrossing so I might cover it up because you know um, SCCA is kinda kinda strict on things so I'm going to cover it up uh, with you know blue tape but yeah you guys get the message I actually got uh, one online and I got it for eight inches but then it came like bigger longer than the um, the wing also as you guys can see here you know those little things that I did for my trunk I'm missing one because it's not really snug uh, this one is snug that, that one's see how it moves uh, the wind blows them apart blows them away so I'm still looking into uh, ways to get it covered but I have ordered some samples for vinyl wrapping I order a sample of a color for my STI and I actually also order a sample for my cross trick over there I think the cross is gonna look pretty cool I'm trying to do something rugged um, so I order a sample vinyl uh, color for my cross trick and a STI that should get here this week or next week and then I'm gonna put them on and see how I like it if you guys uh, are interested well some of you guys that have met me um, know which uh, color I'm thinking uh, so don't say anything but you guys if you guys want to guess what color um, I'm going with or what color I should go with uh, just leave me a comment below all right so that's it for the STI for today all right so to what some of you guys have been waiting for uh, it's going to be the winner of the uh, little uh, Subaru pet goodie bag and the winner is going to be Bobby Jones, who commented that's a big wing. So Bobby Jones, congratulations to you. Uh, leave me a comment below on this video or the previous video. I just need your email so we can communicate and I can get your address and send you your goodie bag. Uh, also, if you guys can see, I have used this coffee mug I, I actually use it every 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 day so I have another giveaway because I love coffee so much I'm going to be giving away a little Subaru coffee mug it's an orange and it also comes with a little um, uh, what's that little thing that goes on the top of the table the little coaster so same thing as uh, all my other videos uh, just leave me a comment below that's the way I pick a random winner it's by the comments and remember to be able to to be a winner you have to be a subscriber and also leave me a comment below and you can win this for um for yourself and uh, i'll be choosing the winner within the next week or the next one just uh have be on the lookout for the video and the um the winner of the giveaway so to recap today we have i did the cross trick axle in under 15 minutes just one side no help by myself uh, with the wheel off already and the tools ready uh, if you guys need some axle repair you need to switch your axles hey I am your man uh, I'm gonna leave the uh, the link below I bought the e uh, 
the axle from eBay so I'm going to leave the link below if you guys are interested on the axle the axle works no shaking no nothing no problems no clicking it is just perfect so far so I need to buy another one to get it on my other side and have my cross trick perfect and ready to off-road man because I will be off-roading sometime soon I have that in plans uh, be searching around to around Virginia for some off-road uh, areas so I can take the cross tricks for off-roading second uh, I show you guys my big wing and my little message for everybody um, I'll have that message until I get probably get a lot of heat from it then I'll probably switch to something else which is still probably gonna be something stupid but I I like to do stupid things so yes also once again, Bobby Jones, congratulations for this Subaru goodie bag. It's half for pets, half for you. So if you don't have any pets, you can give them away if you want to, or give it to anybody to your family, but it's uh, pretty cool stuff in there. That is all that I got for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, give me a likes up if you like this. If you're not a subscriber, please consider subscribing. And I think that's it. Uh, next video is probably going to be autocross. I got autocross on Sunday. So um, I'm going to take you guys for the ride. It's going to be the first time I'm going to have the big win on autocross. Um, I'm still within uh, the category, so I'm not. It, it's it's the big wing. It's, it's good for the category, which I do SM. Uh, yeah, near future also. Um, looking for the wraps. Um, I, there's a big possibility I might re be wrapping my car myself, so that's going to be a huge challenge. I hope I do good. I mean, I've been watching tons and tons of videos of wrapping, and uh, just take my time. Uh, hopefully, I have some help. Someone around there helps me out to do uh, wrap. So the first thing I'm going to wrap is the cross track too, because the cross track is like my uh, test, basically everything on the cross track. So. I'll do first the cross trick if it comes out good then I'll jump into the STI so that's going to be a big um, a big thing that I'm gonna be doing and it's gonna be a lot of money too because I gotta buy all the materials actually it's just gonna be time-consuming I guess also before we end this video just remember to comment what you think the colors are or uh, what color should I go with the STI um, I already got something picked for the cross trick, so don't worry about the cross trick. Uh, but if you guys want to guess, you can guess. I'm not going to say anything. Um, if you guys follow me on my Instagram, I post things there before it comes out on YouTube, usually. Um, so you guys can see a couple uh, sneak peeks in there. So just remember to follow me on Instagram at A Roman Racing. And if you guys have um, any questions, just leave me a comment below also. And if you guys want to see something in the near future, uh, just leave me a comment below. Um, I'm looking for ideas to do with with the STI. I got some ideas that I have to do with the STI, which hopefully it's all depends on money, of course. And um, but I'll be bringing you some more content, more stuff for the STI that I hope you guys enjoy. And of course, it's gonna be more racing. I have to get into more racing, more racing, more seat time. I might be doing um, Dominion Raceway in October, which is a two-day track day for uh, Sumo Speed Trektoberfest, uh, sponsored by Fortune Auto. I might be doing that. I just got to make sure that I end up in the experience um, category. It's not a big race. It's just kind of just like a track day for more seat time, which everybody needs. I need more seat time to get better and better and better and better. So that's it. I hope you guys enjoy. I see you guys on the next one.